Hey team, how you doing? Ray here and here for Moto NZ. It's a mank wit horrible day weather wise outside at the moment. I should be out riding, but I'm not because I'm a softy. But what I'm going to do instead is install some, uh, some bits and pieces on my bike. So come along for the ride. All right, so this is my Tenere 700. We recently got the brand new YSS uh, suspension installed, full adjustable fork uh, up the front here with cartridge and um, a YSS shock with uh, well, full adjustable and high-low compression and all that stuff. Watch the previous video to find out more about that. Um, there's a few more things I want to do to this bike since it's just ticked over 40,000 Ks. Uh, one of them is um, I've noticed down here where my boot rubs on the frame that I have um, rubbed through the paint and I'm starting to get a little bit of rust going on. So what I've done is uh, I took a wire brush to it. I ground, I, I, you know, scraped off all the rust. And then I used some of this uh, CRC rust converter. No sponsorship. I bought this and I sprayed that on there. And then um, I sprayed some CRC zinc black paint. Not the exact same color as the original frame, um, but I, I basically covered it in that. It's fine. So that should be good. However, if I leave it like that, my boots are going to continue rubbing on that and we're going to end up in the same boat as we were originally. So I reached out to the, uh, the guys, the good guys, my friends at um, motorgear.co.nz. They are the New Zealand distributor for a Cherbis. A Cherbis, a service, however you want to say it. I'm told it's a Cherbis. A Cherbis, I should say. It's a Cherbis. Um, and Cherbis make, you know, uh, uh, hand guards and all sorts of stuff. They even do um, bigger tanks for the Tenere 700. But they've sent me, full disclosure, I paid for it, um, the frame guards for the Tenere 700. Uh, so we're going to install them now. And uh, that should, now that my frame is uh, newly uh, de-rusted and sprayed, that should stop me rubbing through the sides of those and offer me a bit more protection. Um, I don't know which one goes where. Maybe this one goes here. Yeah, it does. So this one here goes on this side. This should be a nice, easy install as well. It's not something that's gonna take a lot of time, but uh, we cover up the frame. Have I got it the right way around? I think so. Yeah, there we go. That covers up there. And the hardest bit is going to be getting the little um, rubber bands around the back. So that covers, that goes on there. And then we've got these um, little rubber bands that clip on here, go around the back and clip on the other side. So let's, uh, let's install that now. And hopefully this will be a nice, easy install and I won't have to worry about this anymore. They come in a few different colors. I got the black ones. Um, because if I'm honest, I think personally the other ones, they look a little bit plasticky. Um, so we've got a few different sizes of rubber band here. I'm picking that the small ones go here. There's one. I see. So there's some little teeth here that have to go behind the plastic. There you go, one, done. Now I'm gonna do the other side. All right, what do we got on this side? We've got holes for our bolts, for the rear brake master cylinder. We've got some teeth on the bottom which need to click in somewhere. There we go. All right, well that was uh, a very easy install. Okay, so one of my concerns with uh, fitting these, these guards was that uh, the extra plastic there is gonna stick out too far, which is gonna make my pegs too short. There's always a flow on effect. You do one thing, something down the chain needs to change as well. So um, 
let's see. Um, bearing in mind that I'm not wearing motocross boots or riding boots at the moment, um, I actually, I think that gives me more to grip onto. So potentially it's a better thing. I can really lock my ankles into, into the uh, guards now. So maybe my, uh, my concern, it's actually gone the other way. It's made it better. Um, but yeah, a little bit of protection. It's going to stop the mud caking in there. It's going to stop the, um, the paint being worn off and yeah, a Tubi's frame guards installed. I like it. Thanks very much for watching. Hit that subscribe button. Um, we're almost at a thousand subscribers now as well. I've been talking about it for so long. Uh, I think we need like another 20 subscribers. So if you haven't hit that subscribe button, please do so. I can do a full write up on these at uh, motonz.com. So check out the website. And um, thanks very much for watching. All right.